Hello, this is Andrew Powell again here for another demonstration video. Uh, since this, since it's going to be a few other videos that's going to follow after this, I'm going to try to make this one as short as possible. But all we have here is the uh, chip kit UC32 connected to a VCNL 4010 IR proximity sensor. And I'm just running a, a test pitch program that I wrote uh, using MPLAB. And I'm using once again free RTOS as the operating system since you know I like I like having threads. They're they're pretty nice. And what I used to program it was the uh, chipkit programmer. You can program the board using our uh, AR Dude or AVR Dude. Forgot the name of that program, but you don't have the same level of uh, programming uh, or debugging capabilities. So using the programmer here is pretty nice. And just to demonstrate the project, uh, so as you can see on the screen, those are the IR readings. Uh, I didn't really uh, change the amount of measurements taken per second or increase the current. So right now it's just a very basic test bench program. But you know, if, uh, if you put your hand over the sensor, as you can plainly see, the numbers increase, take it off, the numbers decrease. And that's basically it. A uh, quick thing I want to add before ending this video is that, for whatever reason, I found it I found it extremely difficult to use the interrupt on the VCNL 4010. Uh, prior, there was the VCNL like, four, like 4000, and it didn't have the interrupt, but this one does, which would have been really nice, but for whatever reason, I can't seem to get it working properly, even after setting the uh, proximity interrupt bit in the interrupt uh, control register. For whatever reason, I, the interrupt works but after after the interrupt is asserted by the, the IR sensor if you check the uh, interrupt status register sometimes that bit isn't set right away so I got a feeling that I'm missing something probably something obvious but I can't figure it out so currently I'm gonna fall back on my polling approach which is how I used this uh, sensor before with a different controller it works uh, a little disappointing that I can't use interrupt but it still gets the job done. So, yeah. That basically concludes this video, and uh, thank you for those who actually took the time to watch it. Bye.